Hey guys, want to go over a great success story today um, and also explain to you how your mind is so powerful that you have no idea and you need to unlock the secret things. Maybe this will give you some insight on how to do that. Um, I was helping a lady with a situation she had. I believe she's from Colorado. Um, she, uh, she was trying to get an authentication done on her property to own her property. That's one of my other videos. Um, but I got to mention what this lady did. Um, the, I told this lady some principles on how to get things done, how your mind works, and how you can do certain things that you, you don't believe that you could possibly do. Um, and then she made a few mistakes but the mistakes that she made are probably going to blow your mind, and that's why I'm sharing this story with you today. Um, let's, let's call her Sherry uh, from Colorado. I explained to Sherry that a square peg will fit in a round hole, and a round peg will fit in a square hole. Um, that's what we've been taught that it won't do that because they gave us those little toys when we were little trying to get us to put those in and it wouldn't go. Well, it will go if you realize you have that power in your mind to make things happen. Now, I also explained to her the 40% rule where most people will do up to 40%. And if you look at my other videos, I have that video. Um, that fully explains that. So it, it makes the sissy stay home, if you know what I'm saying. Um, this lady, Sherry, goes to the Secretary of State's office to get her acknowledgement um, for the notary and the certificate of good standing. So it got a notary from the notary at the clerk of courts. It She got a certificate from the other clerk that verified that that notary had a good had good standing or was in good standing she then went to the secretary of state to get the authentication and this is a, a process according to the 1961 hague convention so during this process i explained these things to her about how her mind and everything was so powerful that she could go get this done no matter what and she only had one day to do it she didn't have a car so she had to rent a car and she only had enough to pay for that for one day. Um, and she was out there by herself trying to save her home. Well, while she was at the Secretary of State's office, she tried to get the document authenticated, which the clerk at, the, at the, her county had notarized, and the other clerk gave her a certificate of good standing. Then you go the, to the Secretary of State to get the authentication. Well, during the authentication process, this lady realizes that she forgot her husband's power of attorney, which she had to have to get this authentication. And as she gets to the clerk at the Secretary of State's office and she shows her the document that she needs to authenticate the signature, the signature of the notary wasn't there. The notary stamped it and forgot to sign it but it's like 90 miles away. And this lady that I'm speaking about, Sherry, only had one day to do this. So when the Secretary of State says, I can't authenticate this, the signature's missing, she tells the lady, I can't come back. This is the only day possible. I have the rental car for one day and I cannot, cannot do this. Well, the Secretary of State stands there for a second, looking down at the floor, and says to Sherry, all right, I'll go ahead and do this. Now, what did she say? She just said she would violate the law and authenticate this without it being signed. This is a true story. And she says to the, to the Sherry lady, I just need to see the power of attorney you have from your husband. And Sherry looks at the floor and says, you're not going to believe this, but I forgot the power of attorney. The clerk sees her distress and, no, and gives her the authentication without the signature from the former notary, which is required.
without the proof of power of attorney, a secretary of state of, of Colorado or a state right near there, let's say that, signs this and gives her an authentication on top of the notary didn't sign it, she forgot, and the lady didn't have the power of attorney to back up that she even could even be there doing this. So this is a remarkable story, and hopefully I didn't fumble it up too much for you to understand. But just to show you, this lady did this without any proof of authority, without any signature or anything, and the Secretary of State's office did it because she understood these principles of you can go do this no matter what anybody says or think. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you soon. Please subscribe to my channel below.